Welcome to the course Principle of Pattern Making. In this course, you will get an overview of pattern making techniques. Each unit has a review session that tests your understanding of what you learnt. By the end of this course, students will able to outline the pattern making process, create basic pattern sets, creating various design using dot manipulation technique, create contour fit patterns. The first unit help, helps you understand the pattern making process. It comprises of two modules and a final review session that invites you to reflect on what you have learned. By end of this unit, students will able to do match a tool to their function for drafting, method, drafting patterns, identify the different weights of muslin and paper, discuss the importance of the dot, discuss the importance of math and all the expert of the production process. Use workroom related terms accurately when communicating with associates and define production terms and the associate task reflected to the terms. Now let us move on to review drafting, draping, knockoff and computer application in pattern making. Drafting is a method of pattern making in which body measurements are taken accurately, ease is added for the e easy body movement. Patterns are made based on the calculations and step by step instructions. Can be done with only measurements, it assists the creating various designs. It requires a model or dress form to take measurements. Some measurement can be found using the calculation when all other measurements are not available. It is widely used in ready made garment industry and can make use of computer applications. It required many calculations. The fit can be seen only during the test fit. It is time consuming. This is the pattern making technique in which muslin fabric or similar fabric of the original garment put directly on the dress form to make the patterns. The fabric is adjusted for fit, dot and ease and designs like gathers, pleats, etc. And outline of the garment parts it traced to make the patterns. Draping is easy and no calculation is required, allows, allows the fit to be seen without stitching. It is best suited for contour fit garments, does not require any body measurements, it used by most of the designers. Draping required dress form for every customers require the model to stand till the draping is over, this will take long time. Knockoff method, it is useful if you want to reproduce the garment with the same fit, does not require any pattern making skills. In this method, garment parts are copied into the patterns, garments are ironed, folded into half and placed on the flat table and seam lines are traced. Necessary seam allowance and marks are added later. It is easy to make the patterns, can achieve similar fits. The knockoff method garments with the dots, it is difficult to trace. Today, many manufacturer develop apparel CAD systems. Some of the developers are Optitex, Gerber, Lectra, Pad, Tukatek, Investronica, like that. Many manufacturers are there. Digitizers, it's, it is a device in this digitized patterns can be digitized with the help of mouse. All the pattern making like grain line, notches, pockets can be marked while digitizing. Nested digitizing can be done for graded patterns. The pattern development system helps to make the flat patterns on the computers. It helps to make the patterns, check the patterns, adding seam allowances making notches, working the pieces, grading, etc. Today many developers are offering 3D virtual stitching. 3D body scanners are used to scan the models. Then the models are imported into virtual sampling applications. Presets models also available. The model measurement can be adjusted if required. The patterns are placed in a position and stitching lines are defined. The simulation virtually stitch the garment. The fabric properties can be adjusted, require fabric design can be rendered 
and mini fabric design combination render very easily. Garment fitting can be seen at the same time. There are some animated models for catwalk and fitting, so that the catwalk video can be produced. Marker making system helps to make the markers. Auto markers save lot of time. The operator helps to increase the efficiency. Plotter helps to print the patterns in a real size. The marker also plot in real size and used for cutting. 3D body scanner used to scan the body and converting into digital format. This enables many measurements to be taken accurately. It has light emitting device that can produce scan accurate to 1 by 16 inches. Finally, let us look at the pattern making terminology and principles. Pattern making required a number of tools that helps during the pattern making process. This include an owl, compass, French curve, hip curve, ruler, scale, muslin, notcher, pattern making paper, mechanical pencils, pins, push pins, ruler, scissors, shears, measuring tape and tracing wheel. The owl is a pointed tool with a wooden handle used to pierce a small holes such as indicate apex, pocket making, etc. A compass is a tool consists of two rods, one sharply pointed and other equipped with a drawing end. Compasses are available in various sizes to draw the circles of different measurements. It is used for making the ruffles and circular skirts. French curve is a plastic curve shape device used to draw curve lines like armhole and neck shape. The hip curve ruler is a wooden or plastic or metal curved shape ruler. The edges are marked with measurements. It is mostly used to draw the hip shape of the skirt and pant. It can be used to draw the slight curve shape like hemline and uh, armhole line etc. The L square is a wooden or metal or plastic ruler with one side longer than the other. It is used to make a perpendicular lines. Muslin is the plain weave fabric used to test the fit garment available in light, medium and heavy weights. The notcher is a hand punching tool which produce 1 by 16 inches nick in the pattern used to establish notches at the outer edge of the seam when pattern is completed. White or brown color paper available in variety of width and weights. Lightweight papers are used while drafting and thicker papers are used for slopers. Some papers available with dot at 1 inches interval for easy marking and drawing parallel and perpendicular lines. Mechanical pencils are used to draw patterns. Normally 4H lead is used for pattern making. Size 17 pins are used to pin the fabrics. Push pins are used to pin the patterns on the tables. The transference ruler is a see through scale used to mark parallel lines. The scissors or shears is a cutting device used for cutting papers in the fabric normally available in 6 inches to 9 inches. Measuring tape is a plastic coated very flexible 60 inches long and it has a metal tip at the end. These are mostly marked with the both inches and centimeters. The tracing wheel is a pointed wheel at one end and wooden or plastic handle on the other end. It is used to transfer the pattern making. Metric pattern master is a see through plastic tool used for making parallel lines, giving seam allowances and draw bias lines. Let us now review the frequency used in terms of for bodies. Let us now review the frequently used terms for a skirt. Let us now review the frequently used terms for a sleeve. Three major principles in the pattern making are dot manipulation, added fullness and contouring principles. The manip manipulations are possible. Multiple dots may be combined into single dot. Single dot may be divided into multiple dots. Dot may be converted into gathers. Dots may be converted into pleats. Dots change into dot tucks. Dots, are, dots also converted into style lines. There are two methods of manipulating dots, slash and spread method and pivotal transfer method. In this slash and spread method, a cut line will be drawn for a new dot. By closing the existing dot, a new dot will be created wherever is required. 
on the outer edge of the pattern. In pivotal transfer method, the dots are transferred by pivoting the apex point and rotating the pattern to close the existing dot. In this method, the pattern can be done directly without working pattern. The principle of added fullness is useful when more fullness is required of the garment. Then required design for plus. For example, circular skirt, ruffles, etc. This may be done in equal on both the side fullness, one sided fullness, two sided fullness. The principle of contouring is used to when a close fitted garment is required. Darts are shaped instead of being straight to get the body shape. Ease amount is removed when required. It required more skill than the other principles. There are various kind, kinds of dot details such as open dot, single end dot, close, or, close dot or double ended dot, dot size, dot length and shape. We will now look at each of this. Open dot or single ended dot. It is open on the seam and normally in the wedge shape. Close dot or double ended dot will come inside the garment, for example, see dress. The dot will have a 2 end and it will be in diamond shape. Dot size is an angle at the tip of the dot. The length of the dot will not affect the size of the dot. The size of the dot will be maintained even if the dot transfer to any place to get the same fit. If two dots are combined in the size, the dot will be the sum of the two dots. The dot length is measured from the seam line to dot end point. Most of the dot legs will be straight, but when contouring is required, the dot legs are shaped according to the body shapes. The diagram shows seams. You have come to the end of this unit. To summarize, this course in this unit, you have given an overview of pattern making techniques. Thank you.